What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your host with the most, Avery here. Wanted to bring you guys my own hand at the Market Watch series. I know that a lot of you YouTubers do this, and I figured that I would give it a shot and just kind of see how well I can do. <laughs> um, so, without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into it. Uh, this is my first ever Market Watch, so if you guys do want to see more Market Watch, be sure to smash that like button. Um, and I, I would greatly appreciate it because, you know, this is my first time doing it. I really don't know how well this is going to go over with you guys, but hopefully it will go over well. So please, guys, if you want to see more Market Watch, all you got to do is hit that thumbs up button. And be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a video. Be sure to hit that ding-dong notification bell so you can hopefully be a notification bay of the day. So let's go ahead and get into it here. Uh, Cyframe Lord Omega sitting at a $23.99. And also, one thing that I'm going to do in my... Um, market watch videos is tell you guys the price because I know whenever I watch from my phone I can't always read the price because the screen might be a little bit too small and so not everyone always reads off the price so I figured I would just read off the price for you guys so uh, Cyframe Lord Omega $23.99 this is expected because it just got announced that it's going to be reprinted you can even see here all of the Cyframe stuff is on the cheap cheap which is pretty nice 19 cent 20 cent 24 cent 50 cent 76 cents for a beta and then 7.98 for a gamma Jeez, eight dollars. Um, once this twenty three ninety nine one leave, well, let's be real, it's twenty four. Once these two leave, it's gonna be a twenty five dollar card. So, if you, I, 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 did, I wouldn't even say pick one up. Just wait for the reprint. <laughs> let's let's be real here. Trishula, this is something else I wanted to check out. Um, after this one leaves, it becomes a seventeen dollar card, or eighteen dollar card. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm doing this late at night. It's seventeen dollar card right now for the high speed riders uh, dual terminal is $60 after this and this is a heavily played near mint is 80 I wonder if that'll drop after the reprint I'm kind of expecting it to but heavily played $60 Jesus Christ ultimate rares are 42 unlimited near mints like 43 44 piece that'll probably drop secret rares these will definitely drop this one is a near mint 17 17 basically 17 uh, ultra rare 16 16 these are 17s uh, moving right along let's see we got herald of perfection this is something else i wanted to check out um because i know i've been testing herald of perfection in link format and it's actually pretty good but i don't know if the community has really caught on to it yet uh after this ghost rare one leaves this is a five dollar card <laughs> well it's shipping 99 cents, so yeah, it's a $5 Ghost Rare. That's really stupid. Shining Darkness Ultra Rares are less than the Ghost Rares. Bruh. 216, 317, three, it's a $2 to $3 card. And then the Gold Rares are like only a dollar. Of course they are. Um, something else that I want to be able to have on my channel for Market Watches is just looking over prize cards. These don't change often, but when they do, it's something to discuss. Um, there were two. Uh, Shonen Jump prize cards, Cyber Steins on the market about two months ago. They were both uh, $3,000 a piece, <laughs> and Ultra Reality Games has one for $3,000. So if you'd like to, you know, sell your car for a piece of cardboard, go for it. What would be interesting to see is if, like, let's say we were to come back to one with link format, if this would shoot up to like four grand. I could see that happening. Like if CyberSign came back to three in like our ban list in August, I could easily see this becoming like a four thousand, five thousand dollar card. Um, moving right along, Maximum Crisis diagram still sixty. Ash Blossoms fifty two. Masterpieces are eighteen to twenty. Uh, Unending Nightmares are eight. These are going to be tens. I'm telling you right now, that these are going to be tens. So if I were you, I would pick these up. Uh, because it's it's really not that bad of a card. I'll be quite honest with you, I haven't read it, but you can pay a thousand life points, start one phase of spell, trap card on the field, destroy it. You only have it. Yeah, this is going to be a $10 card. Definitely pick these up. Uh, I would say pick up like six. Like, don't be that guy that buys them out, because like, if you buy out these and these, then you still have these. <laughs> card Rush tried to buy them out. At least it would appear to be. Although there's a lot on the market, 75, so this wouldn't really be a good buyout. Tornado Dragon is sitting at $8. That's that's not bad. Whoop, I did not want to click on that. $8. Uh, Duelist Alliance is $5. 6 actually. Damn. Ultra Polymerization is at 4 Okay. Uh, let's go on over to the next page and see what we got here. True Draco Heritage, 4 Sark's $2. 
that's really a shame. I, I really wanted to play this deck. It's it's a shame that it didn't work out. True King's Return to Dollar. Catch, Kachi Koichi got a reprint in this? Really? I didn't know that. It's like a dollar. Uh, these are more than the Kachi Koichi. Of course they are. Chaka 9 is only a dollar. That sucks. Uh, I have one of these and I can't sell it for my life. Topic Zexel. Dollar. Uh, emerging Emergency uh, Rescute Rescue is $0.34. Cent. I actually had no idea that this came out as a super rare in the special edition. I had no idea. Why did I not pick these up? <laughs> anyway, moving right along, Raging Tempest. <clears throat> Boxes are still like $62. I'm actually pretty surprised about that. Barrages are sitting at 32s. <coughs> Broad Bulls are sitting at 12 to 13 Dryden's are sitting at about 13s. Burial Goods? Whoa, these are up at almost $10. I mean, people were predicting this to go up, so that's not too much of a surprise. I think I got, I pulled mine at sneak peek, and I think I got rid of it for like eight. So, but it's it's slowly on the rise. I, I, these are definitely good, like, investments. I would say, like, quite honestly, if it were me, I'm not saying you should do this. Buy out the one from Resurrected Games, buy out these from Card Craze, and then it automatically becomes a $9.50 card. But there's still 74 others on the market, so fair warning. Uh, that grass, five dollars. This actually went up. This was like a two dollar card a couple weeks ago. Why is this five dollars? <laughs> this doesn't deserve to be five dollars. I spell five. Sea monster thesis three. Wow, this went up a dollar. This is like a four dollar card now. That's really surprising. Full force is three. I'm gonna check the next page real quick. And Fusion Recycling Plants, two, two dollars, dollar. These, I think, went down. Yeah, because these are like fives. Uh, Thorough Blades are like two. Tiger Mortars are buck fifty, dollar, dollar. And dollar twelve on the Lost Winds. That's, that's not bad. But, anyways, guys, that wraps up Market Watch. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like. Let me know about some suggestions to how I can be able to make this more entertaining for you guys. Um, are there any other cards that I missed? Let me know in the comments. Um, again, like I said, this is my first time doing Market Watch, so don't get mad at me too much if I messed up on some things. But thank you guys for watching, and subscribe if you've not already.